Lesson 12.5, Problem Solving, Read a Graph. We read a graph to count objects that have been classified into categories by counting how many are in each row. We identify which is more or fewer. A graph is a chart that shows information. Here we have red and yellow counters in a graph, and we can read the graph to know how many of each there are. The graph has a title, red and yellow counters, and it shows two rows going across. We have a row here, and we have a row here, and we have these, which are picture labels. They tell us what is in the row. We have a red counter here, so this is the row for red counters. We have a yellow counter here, so this is the row for yellow counters. And we can easily see we have more red counters than yellow counters. The red row sticks out farther than the yellow row. There are one, two, three, four red counters and one, two yellow counters. We don't count these outside. These are the picture labels. We only count what is in the boxes. So, there are four red, two yellow, and we can circle the category that shows more. There's more red. We're going to circle the red counter. Here we have a graph titled Blue and Red Squares. There are two categories, blue and red. We see our picture labels for the blue row. There's a blue counter, square, and for the red one, we have a red picture label. We can count the number of blue squares and red squares in the graph. We don't count the picture labels on the outside. We only count what are in the boxes. There are one, two blue squares. You can write the number two. And there are one, two, three, four, five red squares. We need to circle the category that has more counters on the graph. Which one do you think we should circle? Should we circle the blue one or the red one? If you said the red one, you're right. The row of red sticks out farther than the blue. There are fewer blue squares. We need to circle the red one because there are more red. Five is more than two. If we add another blue counter, will our answer change? Will there still be more red than blue? We'll have one, two, three blue and five red, and five is greater than three, so yes, we would still have more red counters, except now instead of two, we would have three blue. Five would still be the greater number. Here we have a graph showing two categories, red and yellow counters. We see our picture labels. We have a red counter for the red row. We have a yellow counter for the yellow row. Here is the title. We can count them and write their numbers. For red, there's one, two, three, four, five. We can write five. For yellow, there's one, two, three, four, five. Remember, we don't count the outside labels, and we can see they both have the same number of boxes filled. They have the same number. One is not sticking out farther than the other. There are five red and five yellow. It's the same number. But what if we added one more yellow counter? Would our answer change? Would they have the same number? 
No, there would be more yellow. There would be more yellow in this row than there are red in this row. The yellow row sticks out farther. There are fewer red counters. We need to circle the category that has more on the graph. That would be yellow. And now there aren't five anymore. There are six yellow. This was the last lesson. We're finished with kindergarten math. And you can watch these lessons again if you need to refresh your memory. I hope you'll join me for first grade math. You can find my playlist linked in the description of this video. Have a wonderful day and hit the like button so I'll know I was able to help you. Bye.